Morning again. Uh, I, I just want to thank all you blessed souls out there for uh, all your loving comments. All, all you guys are good. I just love all of you guys. You new guys coming aboard, you're so great. Uh, thanks for working with us. I think together we're going to really impact this world. That was what's so valuable about the YouTube. You know, I've been traveling around the world and building uh, the reputation of how this works and because the cure rate is so high that uh, it's infiltrated a lot of the areas throughout the world but you guys really are going to make the difference to how we meet this 2012 uh, issue uh, and no matter which way 2012 is moving uh, this will be an upliftment for those that are allowing themselves to uplift and to awaken and that's really, really important, I think, for your next journey. From where you're going from here, one must look at their lives and ask themselves, where are they going from here? And this planet doesn't offer a lot of experiences um, in terms of higher consciousness and broadening. It seems like there's a lot of souls locked into control freaking and you know things like this. So. But uh, this movement of change and lifting of consciousness is uh, incredible. So I'm glad you're all standing with me. I appreciate the great comments. I really do. <laughs> I'm running a little late again this morning. There's just so much going on here. But I'm going to continue to plow through these questions and answers. I'm probably going to be in tomorrow and keep going down this road. I thought today we would cover insomnia, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, skin conditions, and a, a myriad of other things. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're covering so many different things in these question and answers that you might have to sit through some of these and, and uh, you know, go through them before you find the answer to yours. And so I apologize for that. It just seems uh, the only way we can do it. Uh, but. I've met a lot of you. A lot of you have come in to see me so far, and uh, you guys are really getting it. So I'm I'm real proud of you. So let me uh, take off here with insomnia because this is a uh, this lady is, uh, and I don't know whether to mention any names. I don't want to upset anybody, but uh, uh, her husband has chronic insomnia, and um, and I want to go down the list here, and I think that in the future this is going to be valuable, especially those that want to be healers, because I'll go over case. You know, it's about the cases. Case studies are incredible, and I'll keep tying these in, and after a while when we, I get the bulk of the videos, I think, done, uh, we'll take cases. Maybe we can even listen in on a case, and I can, uh, I can, uh, you, you can hear the other side uh, and hear what they have to say, uh, about their conditions and what they've been through. You hear enough of those and you'll see where I'm coming from. All right, so let's look at this gentleman. This gentleman, uh, he pees a lot. All right, so you know, when a male pees a lot, obviously he's got uh, some prostatitis going on there, uh, kidney inflammation. Anytime you see prostatitis, matter of fact, anytime you see any symptom, right, what are we looking at? A bunch of cells and two fluids, but we're looking at the kidneys and adrenals. This controls this huge sewer system, the lymphatic system, the body's main immune system. This system deals predominantly with the acid side of life and chemistry. And of course, this is where all the swelling and all the pain and all the spasms and all this come out of what acids do to tissue and the body's response to acids like calcium and cholesterol. These two, particularly calcium, can, can yield a lot of symptoms when you're not utilizing it and the body Body's stealing it out of you to to fight acid. So yeah, there's a myriad uh, of, of symptoms here. So he pees a lot. You know immediately his kidneys. You know he's got some prostatitis. He craves salt. Now that's immediate first hand down adrenal glands. You know probably low in aldosterone which deals with the sodium. So you you know immediately that this person has adrenal gland weakness. Well he pees a lot. So those are tied together, right? Adrenals on top of kidneys. Drinks mineral water throughout the day, okay. Bad environmental allergies since childhood. Well, right there tells you that 
this individual has lymphatic problems since childhood. This is a genetic patch to him. And of course, that's the lymph system. Allergies deal with the lymphatic system. You can get allergic to everything on the planet almost. So this is obviously uh, what it is. His lymph system's backed up. Well, when it backs up into the head, of course, I mean, lymphatics back up head to toe. You just don't back up in one area. Takes time for symptoms to accumulate in different areas. Depends the nervous system impact and stuff. But when it backs up into the head, you've got the pineal gland up there. And the pineal gland is like your third eye, your spiritual eye as they call it. But at the same time, it's a gland of rest and meditation and prayer. It is the peacefulness and the sleep, melatonin. A lot of people jump on the bandwagon of taking melatonin. Well, remember what we talked about, hormones and steroids and neurotransmitters and digestive enzymes? Um, you really don't want to take them. You really want to make your cells healthy. It makes more sense, doesn't it? Because it's a lasting experience. You get your cells healthy and you're done. Especially if you, you balance out, you have a pretty good diet the rest of your life you're good and not only do you have a healthy way to go but uh, your spirituality can blossom a lot more here so you see how we're tying this in here terrible digestion so we're probably looking at pancreatic problems if it's carbohydrates if it's fats it's going to be gallbladder liver if it's proteins it's going to be stomach so you want to take a look at that digestive problem. But if the lymphatic system's backed up in the prostate, backed up in the head, isn't it backed up in the liver and pancreas and, and, and GI tract? Absolutely. Remember, it's always in the wall. Lymphatic system in the blood is in the wall, where the cells are. It's always where the cells are that the problem is. Nervous and irritable most of the time. Well, you know, this poor guy is uh, full of acids. And his uh, adrenal glands are low here. And this is lowering his autonomic nerve response. And, and obviously, central nervous system is affected too. So here, his nervous system is agitated, acidic, acids agitate, hyperstimulate, or hypo uh, 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 suppress. So uh, sits in front of a computer for nearly 14 hours a day. Not scary. I got these in nuclear medicine. I spent a lot of years in, in hospitals and uh, cardiac work and uh, uh, this was in nuclear medicine you wear these little badges you know that uh, when they turn colors you better uh, take a little break well it's too late <laughs> so radiation is something that scares me I just think that uh, one has to be real careful with this I have friends up in uh, uh, social security departments and stuff that really were into advanced computer technology and there's a lot of neat things out there to help reduce that radiation screens uh, the little uh, uh, I don't know uh, uh, electronic devices for where you plug it in and it takes that alternating current and, and brings it smooth again so um, eats a little uh, meat now that's good fruit in the morning excellent salad for dinner whatever he wants for lunch I'd stay fruit there buddy uh, on blood pressure meds, well, okay, you know, right there, there's the kidneys. And then, of course, that's going to push up the diastolic, and then uh, it'll affect the systolic. But this guy's going to have some low blood pressure here once you fix those kidneys. Right there, he's losing his kidneys here. Anti-anxiety meds, remember, anxieties is coming from the adrenal glands. So, the, isn't this guy easy to read now? See, we can go right down this line like this. And so here's kidneys, here's anxieties, here's the adrenal glands on top of it. He's going to have chronic fatigue, I'm telling you. Nasal congestion, well, wouldn't you be congested up here? He can't rest, he can't sleep. There's the pituitary and the pineal. Well, he's congested in the sinuses, right? There's a giveaway that he's blocked. Medical doctors should be able to read it like this. Um, over-the-counter nasal meds, over-the-counter sleep meds. Sweats at night, well, that's a good thing. At least your, your, your third kidney, your skin, is sweating. Now, we could tie that into a lot of skin conditions, rosacea. You know, what's rosacea? What's your skin? Your largest eliminative organ, your third kidney of cellular waste. That's why it's red, sweetheart. It, 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 it's uh, breaking down your skin. And then you, then in a while, you can get basal cells. You know, this is uh, these are acids coming out. And whenever you have skin problems, your skin is overloaded. Your, that means your other two kidneys aren't doing their job. All skin conditions like, like psoriasis and eczema, these things are easy to cure. Now, I've had extreme advanced cases of psoriasis. Uh, 